friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we will be getting into our budget recap of November. Let's get started. So first let's start with the um, total income. We ended February, excuse me, where am I getting February from? November on a Saturday, which is perfect for me because that's my last day of work. I don't have anything to carry over. As you can see, the first week I made, um, that week was broken up. Let me explain that for me because I don't, even, I don't think I need to count this week. Yes, I do. Yeah, one, two. So let me go in here and look. I have it here. So, actually, for that whole week, I made $1,154. But with it broken in half for those two days, I made $655. Let me get back to my calculator. I love to do my end of the month because it lets me see how much money I make. Because at one point, I was like, I don't make any money <laughs> until I start writing it down. So, I made it $4,000 for the month. I estimated $100 from Etsy. And the money that I made for Black Friday is not included in November because I did not get the money. I won't get the money till Tuesday. So, we'll add that in. So, let's go to our first week of November. So that first week was $6.55. And the second week, now I'm not including Etsy, I'll add Etsy separately. $13.57. That was a good week. Um, $8.67 from here. Up. Oh, $8.67. Um, the third week. The fourth week was uh, $12.35. And then this past week, I didn't do an estimation, but it was $9.45. And then Etsy, believe it or not, I made a whopping $1.17 <laughs> from Etsy. So this is my total. I made $5,000 and 59 cents. I'm going to uh, $59, $5,059. and $59. I don't believe it, so I'm going to recalculate. Here it is. I'm sorry, you guys. $6.55 for the first week plus $13.57 plus. Hold on. $6.55 plus $13.57 plus $8.67 plus $12.35 plus. Nine four five five thousand and fifty nine dollars. Whoa, so let's go to the monthly here. Make sure y'all can see. So we have five thousand. Y'all, my pins is just, I don't know. So we're going to subtract that from four, $1,059. So let me tell you my reasoning behind the reason I kind of like to do this. It is because if I say, okay, I can live off of $4,000. Now this is from the self-employed self -employed brain of mine. So if I guesstimate $4,000, if I go back to my old, um, uh, Aaron Condren Deluxe. I'll show you in February. I only made three hundred and fifty-seven dollars that first week. Business has picked up. So if I said I can live off of four thousand dollars, and here it is, one thousand over. This could totally be saved. Plus what I get in tips. And as you all saw, I was making about a hundred twenty. Some weeks one hundred and fifty. Some weeks one hundred and forty in tips. I could basically save that. And that would be almost uh, $1,500 saved. So I love to see that number. Let's check out Etsy. That first week I made nothing from Etsy. The second week it was 
$4.97. And then I put $25 here. It's probably just around, I think it was like $25.62 to be honest. And then $12.61 here. And then the dollar and 17 cent. $44.00. And 37 cents from Etsy. So we were under there. $44.37. So $44.37. Subtract 100. Subtract $44.37. $55.63 I was off and that's fine I am a very small shop and I had my own website at first and that just wasn't um, that wasn't to me making sense because I was paying for that fee every month for the website and then I wasn't um, making any money um, I was selling some things in person but some things um, I could not sell I just wasn't pretty much marketing it right you know so later on we'll go back to the website but for right now I like Etsy um, it's working for me because I can get packing slips all that good stuff and um, <clears throat> we'll just see how the year goes so maybe by the end of 2020 we'll be back on the website and I still have my website name, but I'm going to use that for something else for the time being. So, come 2020. So, you guys, everything got paid this month. And the only thing that didn't get paid was the car insurance, which I'm waiting for them to take that out. You can see this here. And if you just watched my video on my inconsistent income cash envelope stuffing, you saw I only paid $62 towards my car insurance this month, and that was basically my life insurance. But everything else got paid, and I'm just tripped out about, about this number because I didn't know I was making that much. But bills got paid, so let's add up um, how much my bills came to this month. So my car note is 363 40 um let's put the 62 dollars down so far um i paid both the loans this month uh my sale bill oh my god i paid 425 and i probably paid more and then i got my daughter a new phone so i'm gonna add that 100 on there because that's part of the bill and victoria's secrets it ended up being it said half what is that Fifty-eight, fifty-one. I think that's all that was left on that bill. And Citibank, I gave them fifty. Amazon, twelve ninety-nine. XM Radio got six. It's like six oh six, something like that. Uh, Apple, ninety-nine. Schedulicity got twenty. The Gym got nineteen ninety-nine. And my state taxes. You all, how about I didn't pay the taxes? I put this in I was supposed to pay them, but I didn't pay them. Because what I'm going to do, I may give them something in December. I'll write them down in my budget for December. I may or may not give them anything. And then what I'm planning to do is when I do my taxes, they're going to take the amount that I owe them anyway. So there's that. Two Buddy, $4.50. Um, booth Rent, we have $10.40. But I'm not sure if I paid 10 for it. I probably did. Yes, I did. And Aflac was $42. So that's $2,355. So my new uh, kit inserts. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here at the bottom, they now have a little space. So let me find some white out. $2,355.44. So, what I like to do is add up, you know, what I've done here. Now, yes, I've bought products, which are part of my cash envelopes. I've bought uh, gas, which is part of my cash envelopes. This month in gas, I think I spent, like, um... I got gas, like, three times, so $120. Uh, because I did... We did a... 
I went, oh, I had to go into the city, so I had to get gas sooner. So that's 120. Uh, groceries, oh my God, the grocery, I went over what I'm normally spending grocery. When it's my turn to buy groceries, I keep it kind of <laughs> cheap as possible. I make his steakums, I make it chicken. I cook chicken every week. I love chicken. So my other variable expenses, I will have a rundown in the coming months. So I don't think I spent that $1,000. And then I eat out, so that's pretty much that $1,000. So... That is the November closeout. Next up will be our December budget. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.